Hi everyone, so it is a wet, cold, miserable day here in Sydney, but I'm not letting that get in the way of achieving my financial goals and dreams. The guys at 86400, who are Australia's first smart bank, have given me a financial challenge. They want me to see how much savings I can discover by using their new app. Now considering I've got nothing to lose and so much to save, I've accepted this challenge with open arms. On that note, this video is proudly sponsored by and a collaboration with 86400. And considering we're talking about very valuable savings here, you're going to want to make sure you watch all the way to the end to see exactly how much savings I can find within my own existing budget. is my energy bill. Now, not long ago, I checked my energy bill, I checked the plan, and it looked like it was excellent value for money. But the guys at 86400 dared to challenge me by using their energy switch service. This is a really quick and easy service to use which costs nothing and is easily accessible by downloading their app. Now, I've already got a copy of my most recent energy bill here. All I need to do is send it in and within two minutes, I will find out exactly how much potential savings 86400 can find for me. All right, two minutes has passed and I've already received my email. I can save up to $241.85 per year by potentially switching energy providers. Now, within the app, they've got all the details that I need to know about. As I click through the app, I can actually see all the fine details about the plan, the usage, the supply, the length of the contract, even the important options to me, such as solar compatibility and green power options. And if I want to go ahead and actually lock in those savings, I can do it all within the same app. So there you go, already over $240 of savings. What's up next? Next up is unused monthly subscriptions. According to most recent research, Australians waste over $480 a year in unused subscriptions. Now, I manage my money pretty meticulously. I know my budget and I stick to it. So I am pretty sure I know exactly what I'm paying for. So I'll have a look at the app and see what I can discover. All right, so I hate to admit this, but in logging into the app, I can actually see two monthly subscriptions, which I don't entirely love, barely use and appreciate. Now, whilst I'm not 100% sure yet about cancelling them, at least I'm aware of them. And when I look at the total cost combined of these two apps, it comes to $26 per month, which is a saving of over $300 per year. By keeping me informed and aware, and making all my transactions so incredibly transparent and accessible, I can make that decision soon and potentially lock in even more savings. So next up is food savings. Now I've just finished Frugal February and I saved over $900 for the month of February alone by doing really simple food savvy things like packing my lunch and taking it to work, avoiding getting home delivery and takeaway by having my freezer stockpiled and of course having a few frugal nights in with these guys. So by using my phone and checking my diary to make sure I know that the nights where I'm going to be tired and run down and tempted to get home delivery or takeaway, I can make sure I've got enough food ready to roll. Also really simple things like making sure I cook once, eat twice and take a packed lunch to work at least two to three times per week will save me at least $50 per week. Now, to some people that may seem like only a small amount of savings, but over the course of the year, that represents $2,600 a year in savings alone. That is a lot of money. Now onto the topic of late fees and bank fees. According to most recent research, Australians waste $135 a year on bank fees and late fees. I swear this number is a lot higher. Now, one of the things you will know about me, and if you read Mindful Money, you will know how much I advocate being able to access all your bank accounts within the one app so that you can understand exactly where you stand financially at any point in time. There's none of this logging in and out of different banks and different apps. You can see everything that you need to know so that you're informed and in control of your cash flow at all times. Now, one of the great ways to avoid getting hit with late fees and fines and bank fees is to make sure that you know exactly what upcoming bills are coming out of your account. That way you can make sure there's sufficient money in those accounts and you can minimize and even potentially avoid those fees and fines completely. There is another $135 in savings at least. Now, when I stop and add up these four different types of savings, it actually comes up to a savings of over $3,300 a year, 
which is a huge amount of money. That is money that I can put towards paying off my mortgage faster. That is money that I can put towards investing for the $1,000 project portfolio so that I get more passive income. That is money that I could potentially put towards my superannuation account or even just booking a holiday in sooner. This is valuable money, money that belongs in your pocket, not in the banks, not in the energy companies, but yours. So I'm gonna challenge you back. I wanna see how much money you can save by using the 86400 app. It's quick, it's easy to use, and it's free. And as I said, you've got nothing to lose and plenty of savings to discover for yourself. So let me know how much savings you're able to discover and most importantly, best of all, what you're gonna do with those savings. Remember, we wanna make sure those are proactive savings that help benefit your financial future. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for more Lifestyle Love. Ciao.